new inventory, arrivals. new arrivals that yeah. we have this week. The 1923 Peerless 66 Series Speedster. How cool is this thing? Yeah. And we sold the Speedster next to it. Mm-hmm. We had, the we had two. At, the fact that we had two at the same time is really pretty amazing. Wild. A 1923, too. I mean, mm-hmm. this one's dark red over dark red, um, meticulously handcrafted. It's a 322 cubic inch Peerless V8. Three-speed manual, gear vendors overdrive, and that's important. You want overdrive on these older cars mm-hmm. if you can. It's a Concours and Parade history is back from many, many years ago, and it's the Vintage Motor Car Club of America cover car. Um, hmm. I don't know when that was, though, exactly. 1924. Uh, well, <laughs> not sure that they existed in them, but we'll, we'll go was, with that. It wasn't now. vintage in 24. It was not vintage. It was just a used car at that <laughs> point in right. time. So, uh, and then on the other end of the spectrum, uh, the 2005 Lotus Elise. Oh, yeah. Uh, this thing is really, these are so cool. Bordeaux red over mm. black, garage cap, sport and touring packages. But it's got a Toyota 1.8 liter double over him. Sure. A head cam in line four with a Toyota six speed manual. Things like a little pocket rocket, you know, it's like a little go kart. Really. This is the one we had out at Radnor, right? Yeah, it is. On it is yeah. the one. Great little cars. This is this is as close to a go kart as you, uh, as you without can. being in a go kart. That's right. Yeah. Steel floor and all that mm-hmm. stuff. It's really cool and really well done. And they're becoming uh, more. There's getting more and more interest in mm-hmm. these. I think people more and more people are realizing what they are and how cool they are, and they're a great value uh, for for the dollar. Yes. Um, also uh, arriving is the 1969 Pontiac Firebird hardtop in Brasilia gold over parchment. That's a beautiful color. It is. The color, color combination is great. Yeah, 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 yeah. The combination is great. It's got a 350 cubic inch Pontiac V8, date correct Muncie M20 manual, a splendid color combo, you said. Oh, I did. You did say that. Splendid. 12 volt a- axle. And it's got a little liberty taken with the underdash AC, mm-hmm. which is no harm, no foul, I consider, because Go drive in 100 degree to a car show or a parade and tell sure. me how much you want mm-hmm. some kind of air conditioning. And as long as it doesn't mess up the integrity of the car, you're not drilling a big hole through the dash or, you know, creating vents that didn't belong or, exactly. or, or something like that. So, um, and next on the list is the other speedster that we had, which is a 1914 Overland race car, uh, yellow over black. It's got a build book uh, with, I mean, a gazillion parts that go with a truckload mm-hmm. full of parts that go with this thing. Uh, 240 cubic inch uh, Overland inline four, three speed manual. Just a nicely done race car from like the, the, the Corky Coker's vintage guys would race uh, uh, and they all race in period correct garb. Yes. And it's so cool. I mean, it's just absolutely such a cool thing. And it's not for the faint of heart. You know, <laughs> it may not go that fast. But it really feels fast when you're basically have no protection, no seatbelt. Yeah. You know, it's a horse carriage with an engine. <laughs> with an engine. Yeah. What it is. And especially if you're the passenger, the driver at least has got the <laughs> wheel to hold on to. Right. Uh, the passenger is over there looking for, you know, is there anything I can hold on All to? Right. Navigator. Like my, like my buddy. Yeah. Hold on to your heart. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And, uh, and what a cool car. And I think it's sold. I'm pretty sure that it mm-hmm. is. So uh, you missed that one. But, uh, you know, don't forget to check out the Peerless because it's, rarer than hen's teeth it's rare and desirable which is what we always say people say i've got a rare car but does it make it valuable just because it's rare no it makes it valuable because it's rare and desirable correct uh uh other new arrival the 1960 studebaker champ pickup inferno red crystal pearl over black and red frame off restoration known history and that's what we were just talking about it's so important if you know the history from new on these things, uh, 259 cubic inch, two barrel V8, three speed manual with overdrive, but the paint is just mm-hmm. really well done on this truck. It is such a cool little truck. If I, you were going to, I think that would be on my, was that on your hundred thousand? No, the other, the other champ was, we have a, oh. a red one. We have a red one as a bright red one, but right. either one of them is great. I think they're just so unique and unusual. Mm-hmm. And yeah. And I have a question actually mm-hmm. about those two, the, the bright red one on the bed, it's kind of just flat. Right. Whereas the, the crystal right. is a step uh, side. But it also is shaped. So mm-hmm. is the is the bright red one like just an aftermarket bed that somebody just well would just make a straight one and look that or was it like that from factory? Any ideas? Steve? I think you had cho- you had options. Right, back the then. fleet side or the mm-hmm. flat bed that yeah. they would call those, and then the step side, which is a little different than what you'd see on a Chevy step side back mm-hmm. in the day, uh, because it is a kind of a little molded design. Probably had something to do with what you were hauling in it. I would imagine yeah. if you wanted to haul something, you know, like a 
sheet of plywood and pickups. That was always a big thing that the pickup trucks would advertise right. back in the day that a full size sheet of plywood, as opposed to a not full size sheet of plywood, aren't <laughs> no, they all course. the same size? Yeah, four, so, by yeah. four by eight. Four by eight. Uh, I mean, if they're not, then it's really not a sheet of plywood. It's just a piece of wood. <laughs> yeah, it was just that the the, the bright red one was just kind of just flat mm-hmm. straight, mm-hmm. and not that it didn't have a step on it and sure. be a step side, but it was just. And I didn't know if that was just a different design. That I remember available. the Dodges, uh, the Dodge trucks in the fifties would tack on the the fins on the back of the mm. side of the, the side bed of the pickup and offer it as a, it was just basically taking off one of the passenger cars. Oh, yeah, and they right. were just, they looked like, I mean, they were bolted on. They weren't just, you know, right. super glued. <laughs> Which Are you I sure? Probably wouldn't work. Yeah. I, no, I don't know that for certain. So quit questioning me no, and when right. I haven't done my research. Well, the Cameo, the cameo has sort of a, a car side yeah, the cameo tr- trim on it. And, but, but, but both of the Studebaker trucks are pretty amazing. Yeah. And they're rare. There are not a lot of those no, around. No, they're, they're not. And if you go back to to the old brochures, which are all available online, it's, oh incre- my God. it's incredible. Yeah. And it'll show you every option available. I mean, they were really... Um, big on letting people mm-hmm. know up front, here's the 16 different Ford F-150s you can get. And well, Studebaker was in, in northern Indiana. Yeah, and yeah. They, a lot of them sold in the Midwest. And mm-hmm. what do they have? A lot of snow and, and salt the roads. Yeah. And, rust and a lot of them, were, you know, Studebaker was not a, a GM mm-hmm. as far as volume. And they just they couldn't all afford rusted to do out. That, yeah. yeah, so well, finding them are rare. Well, and, and trucks were made to be used and used up. Yeah. And when you, I mean, the fact that we have the testament of how many trucks we have in this building right mm-hmm. now is staggering. Because really, I mean, they were used until there was not... They were wrung out until mm-hmm. they were wrung out, and that was it. You used them, and then they were just throw them away. Yep. They're done. And and to find these trucks like that, because you know nobody bought a truck as a, a status symbol. You know now guys ride around in trucks that never been off road. King right. Ranch, or yep. they have them that are sitting like this, yeah. which I don't no, even understand. They were a hundred forty five degree angle for yeah. those of you listening. Hundred <laughs> percent marketed for work. Yeah, they were work. They yeah, were bare 100%. bones, rubber floor mats. A lot of times farm trucks. Yeah, yeah. And, yeah, and so that's not what they were for. And they, these were a little bit fancier, these Studebaker trucks, which probably maybe it was the go-to-town truck for the farmer to pick up some supplies, and Absolutely. it wasn't going to be off-roaded or taken in through mud bogs or any of that. Mm-hmm. Um, but uh, hard to find these things. And if you want to be, you know, uh, stand out at the car show, then certainly yep. a, a Studebaker pickup would, would for sure. fit the bill. Uh other new arrivals, the 19, I love this car, the mm-hmm. 1970 Porsche 911 T Targa, Irish green over saddle and black, nicely restored. This car is getting so much activity. Yeah. 91,446 actual miles, mm. 2.2 liter air cool, air cooled flat six, six one barrel Zenith carbs. <laughs> Why didn't wow. you just get a six barrel carb? Yeah. yeah. Try, try tuning those. <laughs> or yeah. Yeah. Oh, I got that one off. Yeah. And now <laughs> it's like a uh, line. Wow. Uh, and then a five speed manual transmission. But boy, oh boy. These early 70s Porsches uh, are popular, popular, popular. It's probably the number one car that we get calls about yep. uh, uh-huh. uh, every day. It's hot, just hot, hot. Hot on the market. So if you're Let's interested, see. pick it up. Come on, call us. Yep. Go to the website. That's do right. something. We'll see you in a couple of minutes. The Classic Auto Mall Show. You've been listening to the Classic Auto Mall Show with your host, Stuart Howden. 